If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Guys, today we have the uh, Danuma card to check out. The Founder Evolution cards are out for a while, so I'm, I apologize for these reviews being a little bit later, but I had to get all three of the accounts going so that I can just unlock all the cards for you guys. But with Dan Yuma, guys, uh, we're taking a look at someone who looks like a pretty good option when it comes down to the Founder's Evolution because he's a four-star skiller with a five-star weak foot, which is obviously a really, really nice thing to work with. This card's 5'10", high, medium work rated, four-star skills, five-star weak foot, controlled, explosive, right-footed. On a Hunter Chemistry style, uh, this card is going to be improved in the pace and shooting department, which I feel like is going to be very important for him because higher finishing in this game is very, very vital for a lot of the goal scoring opportunities that you're going to be mostly working with. And the fact that he has the five star weak foot, again, you want to improve that shooting area as much as possible. Play styles in the cards, he got power shot, rapid, flare. So nothing like crazy special, honestly. Like rapid is really solid. Power shots, I'd really I don't hit power shots too often personally, but rapid is definitely a really good one to have because rapid, if you guys look at the description here, is reaches a higher sprint speed while dribbling and has reduced chance of error when sprinting or performing knock-on. So that's why the hunter feels like a good decision for this card. Passing on him is going to be in a decent area, nothing too crazy special. Obviously, you can give him a catalyst if, the, if that bothers you so much. But for me, it's all about the finishing being higher. Like, I do the same thing to Jota. Like, I just boost that part of the card. Um, dribbling, he is low in the agility, balance, and composure department, right? So those are the main things that we have to test out under pressure in certain situations. Because from what I know with Dan Yuma's card, his body type is kind of stockish right so it's not like a lean type of body type like a griezmann or a rodrigo or anything like that right i don't know if it's like they're actually lean i'm just letting you know that their body type in game is because it doesn't actually tell you over here unless i'm blind right but um yeah he has some physical stats as well strength is there 75 could be helpful for the body type as well but we'll see uh we'll be using him in the main attacking positions up top we'll see how he performs hopefully he's a beast There we go. Took a while, man. That's so weird. Nice. Good goal. Had to fake him out a little bit here and there. I don't trust the uh, defense being the way that it is in this game, you know? Can't take the shot right away. What a goal. What a goal. Dan Yuma on the green. Good finish. Good goal. I matched up the same guy again, eh? Same guy that Rage quit before, I matched him again. It's a little weird. Oh, Benzema just... The attacking AI is just crazy with this card, man. Oh, it's it, the touch to settle, it takes too long sometimes, man. If it's a more agile player, it's that's a goal, you know? Benjuma did well there. No, oh, the drag. That, see, that that alone, guys, would really throw me off from using certain cards. Like, that's why Rodrigo, man, like, Rodrigo undefeated for that specific reason. Oh man, that's unlucky. Looks 
That was a sick goal. Good stuff. Good stuff. And I had the green there too. What a goal. What a goal, boys. Oh my goodness, Benzema. You can honestly have my children. Like, I'm not even joking, dude. Oh, no. Oh, definitely should be a goal. I swear when you have the finesse shot plus or something, bro, like those finesse shots come off way better, I'm telling you. I mean, a brilliant ball, to be fair. It's very forced on my part. Oh, Dan Yuma. Oh, maybe. No, Virgil van Dijk. That's the meta. Gotta wait for that opening there. I know you're going to just run to the side because you're a headless chicken. Into the area it goes. What can he do with it? Yeah. Goal. Nice cross by David Beckham. Opens up the space for us there. For the review, boys. For the review. For the review. <laughs> Gets into position. That's a weak foot strike too, right? Yeah. That was a nice pass, but it's going to take a while to tr to settle it. Yeah. Had a feeling. You want players that just take that touch and they're gone, you know? If it takes too much to, to settle, it's a little annoying. Good flick. Oh, do I get it still? No, no jam. Oh, man. Couldn't get the green on it there. I'm lucky. There you go. Oh, I still got the physical. Uh, I probably should have shot a near pulse or did some extra stuff. A good initial skill move there. There we go. There we go. Near post. There it is. Dan Yuma. Let's go. Beautiful. Couple of skill moves. L1 touch to stop the ball and play. Get that angle to the far post. Good stuff.
Oh, you know that pla that play would have been sick if I got that ball off to him. Oh yeah! Oh, Woo. I like that. Those are the goals that get me going, bro. That took so long to make the pass that I, it literally went upwards afterwards, even though I went downwards for so long. See, so he always has that emphasis on his dribble, right? Because that it's that agility and balance, right? What just happened right there? Cooked. 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 And we get the ball. Nice. Under pressure. Oh, oh, the oh, oh, Danuma. Okay, gets the pass off too. All right, I see you. Oh, Danuma. And he blocks it. He doesn't, he doesn't know I'm doing that, by the way. That's all AI that's saving him right there. That's all AI. That would have been a sick play. Oh, if I can get that touch there, man. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, I have to do another pass. And we still made it work, bro. I was just dancing there, bro. He didn't want to overcommit because of that one play I did with Danuma, but kind of gave us an opportunity there. I did a lot of shot cancels, I'll tell you that for free. Nice pass. Let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, come on, guys. Please. It'd be like that sometimes, bro. It'd be like that. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Evolutions Danuma card. So, guys, listen. In my opinion, I feel like Danuma, like if we're talking about the meta of the game, right? I feel like he's the best option to go with for the founders generally speaking right because obviously darwin nunez is definitely really nice as a physical type striker uh definitely performs pretty nicely for sure if you enjoy those types of players but for me like this card does have his physical moments right with the 86 agility 78 balance 87 dribbling right but i feel like i have more of a rotation policy with a card like this right i can play him in the striker position if i want to specifically in a two striker lineup if anything right um but I like him a lot in those sided positions. Like if I'm playing 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1 like I was with him uh, during a lot of this review where I was playing him on the right-hand side, he's really nice to use in those positions. Like he's very, very solid. You just work with the dribbling being on the lower side for now. But the thing is, man, is that this game, it has a lot of players that don't like dribble the fastest, right? Like you can use players like Rodrigo if you want more of a responsive left stick and stuff. But like I said, as a founders, because of the work rates being high medium... That rotation policy is great, man, because that five-star weak foot also allows you to play him on the left-hand side. And it's a card that, for the most part, performs really well for a card that's, like, really easy to unlock. Because Founders, I don't even think you have to play Rivals with it. I think it's just squad battle game. So it's super easy to unlock a card like this for a person that's going to provide you really good links in your team. Because, listen, in my case, for the... Uh, for one of the accounts that we use, I have Gravenberch with, with Danuma. So having that as a double link Dutch Premier League setup 
is very helpful for future SPCs, right? It's really, really cool to work with because even in the future, if I pack someone like Van Dyke or something, I'm good to go. But even here, right? So I have striker position change, but I recently, if you guys haven't checked out the foot champs video, be sure to do so, right? But I recently packed a first owner Rashford card, right? So if I go here and I go to my club, you'll see that Rashford is going to be right here. Does he have left mid position change? I don't remember. He does, right? So I could do something like this. And now what I could do with my squad is I could put Dan Yuma on the right hand side, Rashford as the striker, Griezmann as the cam, Diaby on the left hand side. And I get the chemistry links um, if I switch out Kimbembe for somebody else because there's not many like League One players in here, right? But this is like a variable that I can work with because Rashford's really, really solid on that finisher chemistry style. Uh, Power Shot Plus, which again, I don't really use that much, but you know, but yeah, generally speaking, if you were to, if you were to choose Dan Yuma as your Founders Evolution, you'd be making a good choice. I think he's one of the best options for Founders Evolutions, to be honest with you. That five star weak foot to be able to rotate into different positions is a huge W to work with. Right. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.